I wanted to do a short video about how to select flap 2 if you're heavy. If you're heavy, the uh, problem is that there's a uh, small gap between VFE next and S speed, as you can see here, and you run the risk of overspeeding the flaps. What you don't want to do is uh, intercept the glide slope when the speed is very close to VFE next, because as you select flap 2, then because you're on the glide slope, the aircraft uh, keeps descending, the speed might uh, run away if you got the tailwind um, or if you were slightly high above the glide slope and then it just dives down a bit and the speed might run away and you will overspeed the flap. So you don't want to do that. So instead what we will do is to fly a level segment and I will show you how to do that. Okay, so we'll currently we are in a vertical speed mode, passing 3,500 feet here and we are clear for the approach and we will shortly turn final into uh, Noba Airport in Hanoi okay so because uh, we are so heavy we, we want to have a level segment and that will force the aircraft to uh, reduce the speed here one and two also it will prevent the speed from run away so we will select via zero at 3000 feet because we're doing a 10 mile final as you can see here so the glide stop will be intercepted at 3000 feet now and uh, at the moment the speed start to reduce and once the speed is at s speed you can select the flap 2. now what some people do is to select the speed bug lower than s speed you can do that you cannot fly lower than s speed but you could select the bug lower um, personally i don't do this because if you are distracted by something perhaps an ecam or, or a dc distracts you then it is easy to forget and you will fly below s speed if you do that so um, there are situations where it is better to do that actually um, it, for example if there's a lot of turbulence and the speed goes up and down then in that case it's uh, it, it is a good idea to select the speed lower because that will force the thrust at idle and that put a little bit more pressure on the downward speed trend uh, preventing a flap over speed but in this case there's not so much turbulence so there's no need for that so let's play the video so the speed is reducing as soon as it is at s speed the, the, the thrust does increase because that's the way the, the logic is coded but because there's not turbulence it doesn't matter there's flap 2 selected and you can see here we are very close to uh, v, v max speed and that's normal okay but because we're flying level the speed uh, keeps reducing and the speed is managed here so that's why you don't want to be on the glide slope because then this uh, speed might not reduce or not reduce uh, fast enough and maybe even increase okay so next um, okay so uh, uh, actually the, the other thing I want to mention is that uh, when to select flap 2 uh, a good point is at 11 miles from the threshold from the total distance at the in the uh, FMS here so if we're 12 miles here we're just waiting for of course the speed has to be at S speed so we're waiting for the S speed to be at S speed okay right there and then we're waiting for 11 miles it happens to be at, at the same time here but um, so once you're at 11 miles here then you can select flap 2 and that works out quite quite well okay so flap 2 is selected and um, the speed is reducing uh, it will balloon but it doesn't matter because it's in uh, VS0 mode so it will not uh, balloon so much uh, one difference uh, by the way with uh, VS0 and alt mode if you're in alt mode it will fly back to the altitude if uh, you select flap and balloons but in VS0 it will not do that but anyway it's, it's not so much in this case so Okay, lock star, and we are turning final. And the speed uh, still reducing because, of course, it's uh, managed speed. So the speed uh, target in this case will be F speed, and the thrust remains at idle. So it's turning the corners. Soon it will be in um, in glide slope star. There you go, glide slope star. I can set the go around the altitude, and uh, down we go. And the rest of the configuration that's the same as any other approach. So I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below.